Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. It's what? Thursday. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Okay, we got two articles here from The Verge. The first one. Microsoft details its Steam Deck support for Xbox games studio titles. And the other is... a. Uh, it says here the Steam Deck no, now runs Windows. Remember, you can install Windows on the Steam Deck now, now runs Windows. Anyway, first article goes like this. Oh, by the way, the second article has a video in it, so what I'm going to do is just leave the link for the video in the description box so you can look at it. First article goes like this. It says here Microsoft detailed the Steam Deck support for it. For Xbox game, game studio titles, Halo, Gears 5, and Microsoft Flight Simulators are supported. It says yeah, Microsoft is providing an update on its support for Valve Steam Deck today. Most Xbox Game Studios titles like titles will run on Steam Deck, but Microsoft says Gears 5, Halo, the Master Chief Collection, Halo Infinite, and Microsoft Flight Simulator are unsupported. These titles don't work on Steam due to anti-cheat, and now it's clear if they and and now it's clear if they will ever be supported in the future. Microsoft has marked eight games as verified, and six more as playable. The difference between the two can be something as small as a warning appearing, or even having to invoke a virtual touchscreen. To enter text during a game. While some are only on playable list right now, they could soon progress to verify status. Says here Microsoft lists only covers Xbox Game Studio titles currently available on Steam, but you can now install Windows on the Steam Deck to access Xbox Game Pass. Valve has just released Windows drivers, so the option is open for Steam owners to switch over. Valve CEO <coughs> Gabe Newell welcomes Microsoft to launch Xbox Games Pass on Steam last month. Say he's more than happy to work with them to get that on Steam. Okay, and it gives you gives a gives a list of games here. Says here, here's the, here's the full list of Xbox Game Studio titles on Steam Deck. De Verified is Deathloop, Psychonauts 2, Hellblade, uh, The Evil Within, Fallout, uh, Shelter, Prey, and Battletoads. Mac Max, The Curse of Brotherhood. Playable is Sea of Thieves, Fallout 4, Forza Horizon 5, Forza Horizon 4, Quantum Breaks, State of Decay. <clears throat> Unsupported is Gears 5, Halo The Master Chief Collection, Halo Infinite, and, and uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. And that's the end of the article. So, the Steam Deck, <clears throat> the Steam Deck now can run, can run Windows. The other article goes like this. Uh, the Steam Deck now runs Windows. <clears throat> Valve's offer, Val, Valve offers no Windows support. And the speakers won't work yet. <laughs> Says here, Valve ships its $400 uh, handheld gaming console, the Steam Deck, before all its promised features were ready. But one of the biggest is now here. You can now install Windows 10 on a Steam Deck and actually, ac and actually accept, it, ex accept it to work because Valve has just released the all imported GPU, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth driver. You will need to download and play games. <laughs> importantly, you'll see a wipe. Importantly, you'll need to wipe a Steam Deck to do this. There's no dual boot. Remember, I was talking about this. I said you support. You should be able to do it. There's no. There's no dual boot yet. And Valve says you can only install Windows 10 since the Steam Deck current current BIOS apparently doesn't include firmware TPM support, which Microsoft infamously requires for Windows 11. 
says here, oh, and your speakers and headphone jacks won't work because there's no audio drivers yet. Bluetooth or USB-C audios are both optioned for now. You can find Valve's Windows on deck page right here and the Steam Deck recovery instructions right here. In case you screw up or run into one of the Steam Deck's unfortunate bugs, to get the to get the booth menu power down, then while holding volume down, click the power button, writes Valve. I should note that the Steam Deck isn't quite as buggy today as it was during the review process, and the updates aren't coming as fast and furious after launch. Valve creates stable and beta release channel you can access right from the deck interface. I still have had some crashes and games that mysteriously stopped working the way they did the the way they did days or weeks before. And then parentheses it says, "Look at you, vampire savior." But I also played hours of Elden Rings and into the beat into the breach without issues. And it says. I'll be firing up Windows 10 on my own review unit soon. So stay tuned. <laughs> anyway, so there you have it. Uh, Valve uh, Steam Deck support Windows 10. You can run Windows on um, on the Steam Deck. And, uh, you know, remember I was talking about a dual boot and you should be able to do it. But, that, but in order to install... Because cause what, a, what a dual boot is, you create two partitions, right? You create two part, the partitions on the hard drive. One partition for Linux, one for Windows. And then you can install both uh, uh, Linux and Windows on the same drive. So when you, boot up, when you boot up your Steam Deck, it should ask you which operating system you want to use. But in this article right now, it's saying um, <clears throat> you're going to have to wipe this... The sys wipe wipe the drive clean to install Windows on the Steam Deck. So that but the dual boot uh, option isn't isn't ready yet, but they're working on it. But other than that, um, the Steam Deck is good. You know, um, you can use Windows or Linux on it now. Windows 10, Windows 11 requires TPM support, <laughs> so you should be uh, able to play. Uh, some uh, should be able to play your games on the Steam Deck, and then go on from there. You know, but a, but a dual boot is just having Windows and Linux on the same drive, and then when you boot up the Steam Deck, it get asks you a question: Which operating system do you want to use? Is it Linux or Windows? And you pick one. But that option isn't available yet. But they're working on it. But for now, you're gonna have to wipe uh, the hard wipe the hard wipe the hard drive clean. And then install uh, Windows on it <clears throat> so you can play your uh, Windows game. You know, so and plus they're still working on uh, drivers for the uh, you know for the Steam Deck. You know, um, and then go on from there. <clears throat> but other than that, so far so good. <laughs> you know, and um, <clears throat> the other article here, you know, it just gives a list. Give give it gives a list. Of, of the games that are verified, playable, and um, and, uh, su and uh, unsupported. So, you know, as time goes on, you know, things, uh, the Steam Deck, it will, it will get, get even better based on the updates the Steam Deck is getting. So, I will keep you guys posted on this. So, anyway, I'll leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Plus the, plus the video link in the description box. Of the of the YouTube video that they have. Anyway, nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Bored, dark side. Uh, go.